Hi, my name is J.T. Scott. I'm a longtime activist and progressive candidate for Alderman here in Somerville's Ward 2, running on a platform of transparency, accountability, and affordability. I'm glad to have this opportunity to talk to the residents and voters here on SCAT TV. It was a pretty short walk to get here from my home in Union Square, and we're actually across the street from the business I run here. I moved to the Boston area in 2000, and I always knew that Somerville was the place I wanted to be. It's a great city full of creative and diverse people. But I came a long way to get here. I grew up in rural Tennessee, in a small town of about 5,000 people. My grandfather was foreman at a cotton compress, and he built the house I grew up in with his own two hands. My father was the first in his family to go to college on a Marine scholarship, where he became an engineer, graduated, and went to Vietnam. When he came back, he worked in a factory while serving in the Marine Reserve. My mother dropped out of college to raise me and my brother while my father was in Vietnam. She did all the hard work it takes to keep a family together through some rough times. She died a few years back, a happy grandmother, and my father died a colonel in the Marine Corps just two years later. When I got done with high school, I followed in my father's footsteps and went to college to become an engineer myself. Shortly after graduating, I got a job up here in the Boston area around 2000. So, I've been around Somerville a while. My partner and our friends lived here, and it's an amazing community. I'd been looking for years to find a home here, and in 2011, I, I found one. Moved to join my partner and raise a family and start a business here. I run the CrossFit gym here in the square, where I employ some of our residents, pay them above a living wage, and offer them health insurance. And I think we all know how rare that is. So this is a community I've put roots down in, and a place where I want to raise my two-year-old daughter, Independent. Since coming here, I've worked hard to listen to my neighbors, to learn from them, and to get engaged to help the community. I've served on the board of Union Square Main Streets, been the vice chair of Union Square Neighbors, and worked as a member of Union United fighting for affordability. I've been to hundreds of hours of community meetings. I've learned a lot as my talented and caring neighbors prepared reams of comment for those meetings. And what I've seen is a startling lack of transparency in the city's processes. I've seen deals negotiated in back rooms, presented to us at the 11th hour, that all too often don't reflect the needs and input of Somerville residents. We need a city government that does more listening. We can do better. We need to establish better communications so that residents know about the big decisions that are going to shape the future of the city so they can provide their input. We need to be better about including that input in the decisions that come out of City Hall. And we need to be better about communicating to the residents about the things that affect your daily life, like overnight construction in front of your house or a traffic detour that's going to turn your small side street into the main thoroughfare. Yeah, there's a lot of projects going on at once. Too much for most people to keep track of. The Somerville Ave sewer project, Beacon Street reconstruction, Lincoln Park renovation, Union Square zoning overlay, Somerville high school planning, city budget approval, and many others. And at every turn, I meet residents frustrated by the process, unhappy with the outcomes, and convinced that their voices aren't being heard and represented. As Alderman, I'll go out of my way to ensure you know about these meetings, that you get good summaries, and most of all, that you get your voice heard. I think we also need to find more ways to get residents directly advocating for their own interests, as development continues to reshape Somerville. For one thing, we can establish neighborhood councils to negotiate community benefits from developers looking to profit from the growth of our city. I had a hand in drafting the proposed bylaws for the Union Square Neighborhood Council that is attempting to form right now. It's been a long and messy process, and ultimately I think that's a fine thing. We're only going to get great outcomes when we can listen to our differences and disagreements respectfully, when we can come together to understand our common concerns, and then speak with one voice when negotiating with these massive outside interests for the things we need, like more green space, more jobs, more appropriate scale and design, and sufficient housing over a range of sizes and affordability. That process takes time, and I'm glad to be a part of it. Now, in this campaign, I've taken a pledge to refuse contributions from real estate developers and development lawyers, and they're the big money at the local level. They're not bad people, but they're not who our aldermen should be advocating for. For me, this is about accountability from our elected officials to make sure they're working for all of us, not just the 1%. I believe our aldermen should serve the residents, 
So I'll be here to answer your questions and return your phone calls, and I'll be there to fight for you in City Hall when development comes to your door. You know, 80% of Ward 2's residents rent their homes. Only 15% of Somerville's residents have jobs here in Somerville. And that lack of employment opportunity and housing stability is corrosive to the kind of community we all yearn for. A place where we live and work. A place with less traffic, where we won't necessarily need a car to get to our jobs. A place where bikes, cars, and pedestrians can share the streets in safety. A place where we can grow together as neighbors instead of strangers passing through town. We do have an affordability crisis in this city, and it's come to a head in the last 15 years as rents and property values have skyrocketed and continue to rise. We were promised that enabling development in Assembly Row would reduce the property tax burdens on our residents. But 10 years later, you tell me, has your tax bill gone down? An $800,000 home in Somerville now pays twice as much tax as the same home in Cambridge. A lot of good change has come to Somerville in that time, but business as usual, has made our affordability problems worse, and it's displacing the people that make Somerville great. I think we need dramatic action to ensure that the city we love has a place for all of us. And I have a comprehensive set of actions that we can begin taking today to do just that, detailed on my campaign website, including a right of first refusal law, the establishment of community land trusts, and the creation of benevolent landlord tax credits. Whether we've been here for three years or three generations, we all want the same thing, a place we can afford to live, work, and play. So to me, those really are the core issues in this campaign. Transparency, accountability, and affordability. For the last 15 years, when voters in Ward 2 have gone to the polls, there's been only one name on the ballot. I think the residents of Ward 2 are ready for a choice in their elected representative. And I think we're all ready to do better for the city we love. I'm in the streets now, knocking on doors and asking for your support to get our voices heard in City Hall and create some real change to make this city work for all of us. I'd be honored to serve you in office, and I need your vote on November 7th to do it. I thank you very much for your time.